Well, teachers, you're adults. You're a consenting adults, and every teacher has a sex life at home in their bedroom, including me. I was actually celibate for a long time, and even when I joined OnlyFans, I was celibate. So that's the other interesting, ironic twist to my story was, like, people would have been more okay, okay with me bringing men around my children, sleeping, you know, participating in the hookup culture, having lots of sexual partners, um, but being celibate and finding a place to express my sexuality on the OnlyFans platform was wrong and horrible, where it's like virtual sex is the safest sex I could have been having. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Courting. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. It is uh, <laughs> a wild Thursday here in June as perhaps the most hilarious slash humiliating uh, backfire for one of these people that thought selling pictures of their whole various holes on the internet would make life extremely easy for them. Uh, this is a, a teacher that was terminated and decided to um, try and crowdfund after being terminated, after no one wanted to buy pictures of their b-hole, and has raised zero dollars. That's right. People didn't want to pay for it. This whole story is a microcosm of the hilarity that surrounds uh, this career choice. I don't have any hate for the people that do it, although I use my platform to try and tell men to stop giving these women your money. Uh, they don't care about you, and it actively damages your ability to talk to women in real life. But that's why I get to bring up, and I like enjoy, I enjoy covering these particular stories because, well, they're just so hilarious and we're going to get into all that after a super quick word from this video sponsor huge shout out to this video sponsor bond charge bond charge is a holistic wellness brand with a huge range of evidence-based products to optimize your life in every way founded on science inspired by nature all bond charge products adopt ancestral ways of living in our modern day world their extensive range of premium wellness products help you sleep better perform better have more energy recover faster balance hormones reduce inflammation the list is endless from blue light glasses to red light therapy to emf management and circadian friendly lighting bond charge products help you naturally address issues of the modern day way of life effortlessly and with maximum impact. The sauna blanket, let's say potentially you want to burn more calories to help with weight or you're looking to detoxify, maybe you had a few drinks recently, or you're looking to ease stress and unwind. The infrared sauna blanket is perfect for you. I've been working out a lot lately, so one of the key features of the sauna blanket I liked is not everyone has all the room you need for a traditional sauna. Well, the Bond Charge Sauna Infrared Blanket works by using infrared light, which heats the body rather than the air around you like a traditional sauna would. This means you get the same benefits at a lower heat you also don't need to have your head in the heat like a traditional sauna you just wrap it around your body it was incredibly easy to set up it heated up extremely rapidly and you can enjoy a session for 30 or 40 minutes while relaxing watching tv reading a book or whatever you want the bond charge infrared sauna blanket is easy to clean just wipe down with a damp cloth it's sleek and lightweight easy for storage low emf compared to other brands has some of the highest temperatures compared to other brands and it's stored away extremely easy for me an infrared sauna blanket an infrared sauna helps me with muscle recovery. So this product has been great. It has free shipping on every sauna blanket, so there's no hidden cost, easy returns and exchanges with a 30-day trial, and a 12-month warranty. Go to bondcharge.com slash thequartering and use promo code thequartering to save 15%. That's B-O-N-C-H-A-R-G-E dot com slash thequartering and use coupon code thequartering to save 15%. All right, so check out uh, Bond Charge when you get a chance. OnlyFans teacher raises zero dollars to fight unfair firing after boss convinced her to join. <sighs> you just hate to see it. We've seen plenty of teachers get fired for making OF content, and it seems like that trend is going to continue for quite a while. Well, yeah, nobody wants you teaching their kids, creeps. However, not every teacher is just taking their firing and moving on. One in particular, I'm not going to give her any clout, is actually looking to raise money to combat her unfair firing. Unfortunately for her, it does not seem that very many people are interested in supporting the cause. According to the Daily Star, this former teacher 
was a, uh, a teacher at the Starbase Science Academy, but she was fired after it had gotten out that she was making this type of content. You know, by the way, in the future, I suspect this type of thing will be in teachers' contracts, uh, both men and women. Like, just not allowed. You wouldn't let someone who, like, ma you know, makes, you know, adult movies be a teacher, would you? I suppose it would be a dream for the students. But anyway, in the time since she's, in the time since she has now retained a lawyer and is looking to fight the school for her severance, but she may need to dig deep into her own pockets. Now, a GoFundMe was set to raise $10,000 to help her, and it doesn't have a single donation at the time of this writing. At that said, that said, she has become one of uh, OF's highest earners, so she can likely afford the legal cost. The fundraiser states, and we're going to take a look at it, which is hilarious. Actually, let me just, um, let's see here. Here it is. Here's a GoFundMe. Whoa, $20. 20 whole dollars from an anonymous person 21 hours ago. Probably her donating to see uh, if it actually worked. Hi, I don't really care. A single mom to twins. I was unfairly fired from my teaching job for starting an OF account. I like how it's, I like how it's worded. All she did was start an account. She didn't post pictures of her b-hole, fellas. After my boss encouraged me to do so, by the way. She only did it because her boss told her to. I'm raising money to help support myself and my twins as I, as I navigate this difficult time. Currently, one donation for $20. I mean, the, the, also the other interesting thing is, you know, regardless of the fundraiser not being successful so far, apparently she's made it big on the site telling Insider that she even earned $17,000 in one month and said being an OF model has largely been a positive experience. Here's one thing that you'll learn, young, young men out there. Uh, just like this is a new form of stripper, basically. Most strippers will lie about how much money they make. Um, it's always, by the way, significantly less, right? The same thing is true of these women. Most of them lie hilariously so that by the way about the amount of money they make from this site um they pretend that oh they're just making so much money my kids can cry about my about pictures of my b-hole getting on the internet in their ferrari doesn't work like that you probably have less than a dozen creators on the site that will have any kind of sustained long-term income and most of these people on the site have no idea how to manage the large amount of money that they get in. And many of them will end up in tax problems, in debt, and broke right back where they began. Now, allegedly, she earned $17,000 in a month and her entire annual teaching salary in just six months. So why do you have, this is what I'm talking about, then why do you have a GoFundMe? You're so rich. Seventeen grand a month would annualize at least... Let's just say, you know, at least this person is making $150,000 to $200,000 a year. Allegedly. I've, you know, I had a full-time job and I was juggling five side hustles to try and keep myself afloat. And all I could do was put pictures of my b-hole. That's all that was left for me. Definitely couldn't DoorDash or I couldn't uh, work for Amazon on the weekends. Couldn't, couldn't... Um, be a bartender three nights a week, couldn't do this, could, I had a full-time job with insurance, but I just couldn't make ends meet. All I could do was sell pictures of my b-hole. I would teach all day, then work one of my side hustles until I went to bed. I felt constantly stretched and so overwhelmed that I'd often cry in the bathtub at night. My kids started calling me sad mommy. But, okay, so is she, first of all, here's an obvious question. Um, I suspect, maybe not, maybe she's not getting, not every woman who has the kids in custody is receiving regular child support payments. Okay, in fact, most women that I know that are expecting child support payments never get them, or it's never as much as it's supposed to be. Um, now, that's just my personal circle. Um, certainly there are problems with the child support system where people, men, I believe, uh, often have to pay far more than their fair share, but that's for a different topic. So she has 
full time custody of the kids allegedly. So she, I'm assuming, gets spousal support from her ex. That's not included in any of this. Um, you know, like I think that all of these people lie about the money they make on this site. They lie um, because it somehow allows them to justify they know what they're doing they, they, it's sleazy um and you know they, they just try to say well i make so much money so it's okay you know it's like um i've i've since made my entire annual teaching salary in just six months as a teacher i made fifty five thousand dollars a year i think that's you know probably it's like 28 dollars an hour as a teacher that's probably you know light on the side of teaching but you know i guess in a public at a public school entry level teacher that's probably what they make but also they always have killer benefits too don't forget that um so she made 55k and now she made 58 through only fans so she's super rich now um you know then then again however my income fluctuates and i have months ranging from 3000 to 10000 i've still had to work very hard to make that much as it involves a lot of marketing. I promote my page on my social media sites like Facebook. Oh my God, taking pictures of your b-hole is so difficult. It's very difficult work. You have to make sure there's no debris in there. You have to get a, some sort of mirror contraption to make sure you can see it all. Meanwhile, your boyfriend takes all the pictures while all these men who think you're single pay you. Yes, oh gosh, it's just gotta be so hard. Like, when I receive friend requests from men, I accept them and spam them links to my OnlyFans account. Wow, she must have a master's degree in marketing. As a way to boost my earnings, I have found a niche by leaning into the teacher fantasy. Wow, creative. And many of my fans have seen, I do this by offering exclusive report cards where I rate their junk and give Miss Sarah stickers to loyal fans. So... She solicits pictures of men's junk and rates it for money. This does sound like hard work. It sounds like there's probably a lot of stiff competition out there for this person. It sounds really like a finely honed skill. It's, 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 it's hilarious to me that these people are treated like martyrs. You know, and like the... <laughs> the the supply of of women willing to do this far exceeds the demand of men or women i suppose willing to pay for this quote unquote product and uh every time you see another one of these people be like man my life is so hard you have any idea how it is how hard it is to powder an anus i just don't care nobody cares and that's why your fundraiser if if i'm supposed to believe you have this legions of paying fans, not a single one of them paid you back to your GoFundMe? That seems curious. I mean, I'm no expert, but if you earned seven, if you allegedly earned nearly twenty thousand dollars in one month, I would assume that's thousands of people giving you money that one of them donated. Seems interesting. I mean, I think that the whole economy around this is damaging to men greatly. Um I, you know, women selling their bodies is literally the oldest profession. They want to do that. Um, that's fine. But I'm going to be here to, you know, try and remind people, hey, like these women don't care about you. They just want your money. And it's going to warp your mind about what real women look like because these women spend hours on Photoshop and taking only the perfect angles. You know, again, their photos are generally taken by their boyfriends whom they laugh about you when they're hooking up. Uh, about how you know they get paid for this uh, so don't feel bad and I think it's hilarious that no one cared either I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon